guys, it's Miss Davis again. It's so good to see you. And if you are listening for the first time, welcome. And if you're coming back, it's good to see you again. Um, I wanted to give a shout out to a couple friends that commented on our last video and answered the question of a day. And that was Holland, Carolina, Dominic, Heather, Reese, Sam Hunniford, Emily, Karina, and Clara. So awesome job guys by answering the question at the very end appropriately and putting in your awesome thinking. Now I do have another read aloud for you today. Um, remember that as, uh, as I'm reading, I'll be asking you some questions along the way. So if you wanna get out that reader's journal, that piece of scrap paper, or just say it out loud, that is awesome. Um, I'm also going to be putting in a secret word of the day in my video somewhere today. Um, and you can go on to Canvas and put in that word um, for a shout out on tomorrow's read aloud. So definitely check that out in our Canvas page. Our story today is going to be Ivan, the remarkable true story of the shopping mall gorilla. And this is by Katherine Applegate, a personal favorite in our classroom because she wrote a, another book that we read this year. So comment down below what that book is um, because I wanna see who remembers Katherine Applegate this year. It is also published by Clarion Books and Hopton Mifflin Harcourt. So thank you to the publishers for uh, kind of giving me a chance to read this out loud today as we go. All right, let's get started. Ivan, the remarkable true story of the shopping mall gorilla. And it's dedicated to everyone who loved Ivan. In leafy calm and gentle arms, a gorilla's life began. The baby was born in a tropical forest in Central Africa. He was part of a large family of Western lowland gorillas. The troop included babies, juveniles, females, and a male leader, the silverback. I want you to think and use your context clues. What do you think the word juvenile means? Write it in your reader's journal below. The more the baby gorilla grew, the more he played. The more he played, the more he learned. He rode on his mother's back. He listened to the hoots and grunts and chest beats of his father. He watched the older gorillas, clever and quick, as they wrestled and chased and swung from vines. He did not learn about humans until it was too late. Poachers with loud guns and cruel hands stole the little gorilla and another baby. Now let's stop here and infer, why do you think these poachers are coming after gorillas? What do they want with them? After thousands of miles and endless days in a black, damp crate, at last came light and fresh air. The jungle, green with life, was gone. The gorillas had traveled halfway around the world to Tacoma, Washington. A man who owned a shopping mall had ordered and paid for them, like a couple of pizzas, like a pair of shoes. Now, I really like the similes that the author used here to describe how two things are being compared. In your reader's journal down below, what is being compared? A man who owned a shopping mall had ordered and paid for them like a couple of pizzas, like a pair of shoes. People cooed and laughed and held the babies. They dressed them in human clothes and fed them human food. 
The shopping mall owner ran a Name the Babies contest. The winning names were Burma and Ivan. One dark day, soon after the babies arrived in their strange new world, Burma died. Without her, Ivan was all alone, with too much left to learn. While he was little, Ivan was cute and cuddly. For three years, he lived in a home like a human child. He slept in a bed and went to baseball games. He held babies and rode on a motorcycle. He had to learn many things gorillas in the wild don't ever need to know. The one thing Ivan didn't need to learn was how to eat. The more he ate, the more he grew. The more he grew, the less he could live a human life in a human house. A cage in the mall became Ivan's new home. There wasn't much to do. Sometimes Ivan watched TV. Sometimes he played with an old tire. Sometimes he finger painted, signing the papers with his thumbprint. Mostly he watched the humans watching him. Ivan was about 13 when his coat began to shimmer with silvery white hairs. He'd grown into a silverback gorilla. In the jungle, he would have been ready to protect his family, but he had no family to protect. And that's going to be our secret word of the day, silverback, silverback. Year after year passed. People began to grow angry about Ivan's lonely life. Children and adults wrote letters and signed petitions and held protests. Now in your reading journal or whoever you're talking to in your home today, I want you to talk about why do you think people are angry about Ivan's life in this cage in the mall? Would you be angry? Ivan lived in his cage without the company of other gorillas for 27 years before he was sent on another journey. This time the hands were gentle. Zoo Atlanta wasn't a jungle. It was a place with walls. Still the breeze carried jungle sounds and scents. Scientists who understood the needs of gorillas helped Ivan adjust slowly, carefully, gently to his new life. Finally, it was time. Was Ivan ready? Cameras clicked and reporters watched. I wonder what he's ready for. When Ivan stepped onto the cool green grass, the sunlight gleaming on his silver hair, people cheered and laughed and wept with joy. Ivan, the shopping mall gorilla, was in a place with trees and grass and other gorillas at last. How beautiful. In leafy calm and gentle arms, a gorilla's life began again. Now here is a real photograph of Ivan the gorilla. And yes, it's true. Ivan the uh, gorilla, the shopping mall gorilla, was a real gorilla. At the end of the book here, we have a about Ivan page that tells the uh, story of Ivan. And there he is in his human clothes. And there he is as a grown silverback gorilla. Now, this makes me think because... If this story is a true story, this must mean that this is a biography. That's right. Biographies can be written about animals' lives, which we do forget sometimes. Now, if you were in my class this year, you would know that biographies 
with these kind of features such as illustrations and written in a story-like form with a beginning, middle, and end must mean that this is a certain type of genre. Now, before I reveal what that genre is, I want you to pause the video right now because I know that you know. Okay, in the comments down below, I want you to write down what the genre of this book is so that you can earn another shout out in tomorrow's video. Now, while you're writing, I'm gonna be thinking, this is a true story about someone or something's life, so an animal, and it has illustrations and is told from beginning, middle to end. So that must mean that it is literary nonfiction. Congratulations, I know you all wrote it down below. So just to remind you that literary nonfiction is a really awesome um, kind of combination of informational nonfiction and fiction, a narrative. And so today we wrote, read an awesome story about a person or some uh, person's, no, an animal's life. Exactly, Ivan the gorilla. Now, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, remember that secret word, if you didn't catch it, rewind back and try and catch it again. Put it into Canvas into our quiz, which is not graded and it is totally optional. But I would love to have you try it out so that you can be in tomorrow's shout out. Okay. Bye guys, thanks for joining me and I'll 